there, get in, get in there, and uh, read you his bio. Well, Dean Fulton has had a, a long time, a long time inhabitant of both Ottawa and the Vancouver Happy Day inhabitant, or member, I suppose, of both the Ottawa and Vancouver poetry scenes. The obsessive collector of Canadian poetry has put on dozens, put out dozens of zines and chapbooks through his publishing projects, Hooker Press. Most notably, though, he has a talent at connecting poets and scenes that do not often intersect. Fulton's work as impresario has been on full display in a reading series known as Twisted Poets. He's organized several shows, putting established and emerging poets on the same stage. Such, reading, uh, uh, such a reading was held at the Prophet's Cafe when Sasha Langford and George Barron featured together. So please, please welcome, I can read another quick short poem. Yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> okay, I might read another quick postcard poem, but as um, soon as my poem's finished, get Warren and Tap in here, come on up. <laughs> okay, so this is one. Postcard from the C4 shuttle bus which runs uptown here. Postcard from the C4 bus uptown. Pressed in my tiny seat in my ill-fitting sportswear, I am the idiot brother of a mafia boss. We slide across the potholes of the Victorian streets. I clutch my wife's arm and brace for the bumps. She is beside me in her artillery of heavy makeup. How I love her, how the yappy poodle of the happiness I am pulls at her hand leg and not let go. Okay, and it's now my great pleasure to introduce you to Warren Dick Fulton. about places and things. So these are some of uh, two years worth of almost daily photo taking um, of my balcony view uh, of the Fraser River. And, uh, and so last year uh, I was taking photos and then sitting on our couch and uh, writing something for about half an hour each day. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you uh, some of our, some of our, mine. What's this power thing? I don't know. They, they become everyone's now. So some of uh, some of what I what I wrote for January. Um, and uh, but before I begin, I always feel that uh, poetry is it's a it's a giving thing. It's a giving of your words of yourself. And since I have lots of items, ephemera, that I've created over the years. I would like to give each and every one of you some Puka Press item. So, um, Samari, <laughs> since you, this is, uh, this is Samari, Samari McLeod is someone who has on occasion worked with me in the film industry as a key production assistant. So Samari, if you can just come and join me here for a second. And so this is why I didn't write it. No, I just, uh, <laughs> no, I, I just thought, hey, why not have... Okay, so here's a number of um, items. So just, you can circulate around the room. Oh, yeah, something else later. And, um, oh, here, some more things. So one item each, uh, just as you see fit to give to people. Okay, great, thanks. All right, and here we go. So... Friday, January 6th, 2017, 8 a.m., first morning home after a month away in Greece. Ice floats unhurried on the Fraser River as a strenuous tugboat tows a sizable barge 
moments captured, fixed in memory, crows and gulls soar, astonished tree branches, exhibit their resilience, an optimistic sun paints the day. Saturday, January 7th, 2017, 7.35 a.m. Since it's all 2017, I'm not going to say the year from here on in. Hey, Anthony. Okay. The early light flushed again, the river slow and deliberate, a thermometer recording temperatures. Oh, look at all the ice, she said, coffee and cereal in the living room while watching winter from our warmth. A lone crow breaks the stillness. And once more, I photograph the Fraser with my iPhone. <laughs>